come is amongst us. He is in the temple. Great stars fly upon him. Yet he knoweth not what plagueth his mind. And ye continue to worship and to offer sacrifice. Here it is we are to awake Timothy and Luke. What magnificence. Veritable city of shrines. Almost could I believe that it comes easier to man to fear a host of gods than to put his trust in one. Fear is with us all, Silas. It is a carnal thing. Love, being of the spirit, needs something to awaken it. And Jupiter and the gods look back on the earth and shake and tremble in fear. For they see only the small child from whom they have just fled. The gods, in fear of a child. <laughs> child itself may be a god. <laughs> the child standeth in the forum. People are coming from the temples. They him not. Yet some passing closer cry out, See how beautiful he is. As the crowd groweth round him, so doth the child grow. He has quickly bathed his childhood. <laughs> the forum is filled to overflowing. People are tearing down the temples. What? With their bare hands? <laughs> <laughs> is not the forum large enough? Where's the god? <laughs> we show little respect for their prophetess, nor humanity towards her affliction. We have been told that your mistress is of the same persuasion as ourselves. This being the Sabbath, we would know where there be a synagogue. We have found none. Ye are strangers in Philippa? We came from Troas but three days ago. We have no synagogue. Our place of prayer lies beyond the city gates on the banks of the Gangites. Oh, come, we will show you. Gladly would we follow. But we ask not only for ourselves, but for my master, Paul. Paul? Have I not heard tell of Paul? He that preaches that Jesus of Nazareth was the Christ? The same. Art thou then of this belief? Mistress, Jesus is the Christ. And are crying out! Such beauty! shall have a temple that reaches the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth? Does it pass through those? Does it reach the sea? Fools! 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 Those men are servants of the Most High God. They come to show unto us the way of salvation. Paul, what? We have spoken to the woman herself. They have a meeting place on the river bank, just beyond the gates. Then let us go there. Those men are servants of the Most High God. They come to show unto us the way of salvation. Concerneth thee, Master? Was it not the truth she spoke? Are we not the servants of God? And are we not come to show her the way of salvation? It seemeth almost as if she were moved to cry after us. And yet I know not what it is that I am bidden to do. Never before hast thou been left in doubt. Timothy, thy counsel is good. I must bide myself in patience. <laughs> we have been apprised of thy coming. Peace be with you. I, and these gathered with me, would hear thee. I speak of Jesus, the Son of God. We would hear thee. Grace be to you, and peace from God the Father, and from our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Unto some of ye hath my name already been made known. Paul, calling himself an apostle of Jesus, which was crucified, I would have ye know me also as Saul of Tarsus, which beyond measure did persecute the disciples of Jesus. So zealous was this Saul of the traditions of his fathers. Is this the girl? Aye, Aye the same. same. So what is this? We've, we've done thee no wrong. She speaketh for the gods. Whatever she hath uttered, if it offend thee. I and others of my guard would hear her for ourselves. She can speak at any time. For thee, sir, she shall speak at any time. Well, on the morrow, bring her to the western gate an hour past sundown. You shall be well repaid. Thus was Jesus crucified for my salvation and for your salvation. According to the scripture, thus also was he buried and rose again the third day. Let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus, who being found in fashion as a man, humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. Amen. It was I who showed thy two companions the way he had me. I knew not then that thou wouldst come and show unto me the way to heaven. to the right. If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. Good Lydia, we already have lodging in the city. I pray thee, make my house thy lodging. There is so much I would hear, so many questions I would ask. Then is thy wish granted. We thank thee for thy hospitality. These men are servants of the Most High God. Much hast thou sacrificed which other men account of value. I have suffered the loss of all things and do count them as done that I may win Christ, that I may know him and the power of the resurrection. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. Timothy, as always, thy face betrayeth thee. What is it thou wouldst tell me? As we came into the forum, the prophetess, the same that cried out before, entered with her masters, and she called after us. And would have followed, had we not taken to another street. Poor child. Thou knowest her? Who doth not in Philippa? Some believe her inspired by the god of death. But many mock at her. She makes money with her prophecies. I indeed, though, alas, not for herself. She's but a servant, a slave of men who set her up in the forum for their own gain. Though she cried after thee, thou must not condemn her, Timothy. Condemn her? Mistress, I did not condemn her. We marvel only that the spirit which possesseth her be so ready to acknowledge God. of the Most High God. They come to show unto us the way of salvation. Pay no heed, Master. These people are easily provoked. Let nothing blind thee to our purpose, Timothy. Not even thy concern for me.
child, what thou sayest is true. I am a servant of God. What wouldst thou have of me? Think, think what thou sayest. I command thee, in the name of Jesus Christ, to come out of her. To show us the way of salvation. Salvation. Take no heed of these men. They are the enemies of our gods. They are not a Philippi. Tell us of the Pontifex that angered the goddess. And the child god of the war, tell us. I know not what to say. Thou hast never wanted for words before. What ails her? It is the work of those men. The dark men are angry with them. It is the work of those Jews. Take your the guns of our living. Why did they come on? Now what are they? Find no fault in him. Set him at liberty. Thank you, Your Excellency. Excellencies, I crave your indulgence for one moment. These men, being not of us, do exceedingly trouble our city. They teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. Already, already, they have defrauded these honest men of their lawful business. Lictors, take these men and beat them and throw them into prison. We are Romans! We are Romans! Waste not thy breath, Pilus. After we have suffered, then I promise they shall hear thee. Forum. Charge thee with thy life to keep safeguard over these men. Aye. <laughs> Put them in chains. Guard them with my life. <laughs> Yeah, them 
with my life. <laughs> Silas, Silas, it is for the law. Lord, give us of thy strength, for the hour is dark, and our cares lie heavy upon us. I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cast in sunder the None of us is fled. Oh, sir, what must I do to be saved? Believe, believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. And Jesus said unto him, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but should have everlasting life. confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. But I am a Greek. There is no difference between the Jew and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him, and whosoever calleth upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Excellency, the woman Lydia is here, bringing the purple toga to thy order. Bring her here. Ah! Let me see thy work. Thy reputation is well earned. What is thy charge? Excellency, knowest thou hast transgressed the law? What? The two men that yesterday thou hadst publicly scourged are Roman citizens. Romans? They were but wandering Jews. They were my guests. Romans and good men. The guard! But when his mother found them still in the temple, was she not angry? Not angry. 
But she did not understand that he'd been told by God to go there. Ye are free! Ye are free! I have the order. Oh, you have the order. They have beaten us openly. Uncondemned, being Romans. They have cast us into prison. Now do they thrust us out privily? Nay, verily. But let them come themselves and fetch us out. Oh, sirs, I do beg of you. Bear ye my answer to your masters. We knew not that ye were Romans. Why did ye not hear us? Sirs, we freely grant we have wronged you against all reason. For the which we beseech thy pardon and forgiveness. The crowd did so cry against you. It is enough. Ye have our forgiveness. One favor more. The people are incensed against ye. We beg ye go forth from Philippi before some further injury is laid against our conscience. Excellencies, if you would escort us to the center of the city, then will we go forth. That we will do, accounting it an honor. Farewell, friend. Stand fast. Those things which ye have learned and received through me, do. And the God of peace and love will be with you. give the order. Send straightway and have those men set free. They're here. Master, we could not get to thee. Thou must be hurt most grievously. Spare thy pity, Timothy. For thou knowest that enduring all things for Jesus Christ, I do suffer gladly. And now, friends, beloved, it is farewell. Farewell? farewell. Yes, alas. For we have pledged our word to go forth from Philippi within the hour. Her master's a recompense. She is now of my own household. It seemed to me that the Lord Jesus would have it so. Good Lydia. Truly art thou filled with faith and love. Now can I journey forth with a joyful heart. But that which I came to plant hath already shown the goodness of its fruit. Master, I would thank thee. Child, thy kiss is not for me. But have my hand if it serve thy praise. And unto all of ye I would say, only let your manner of life be worthy of the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or be absent, I may hear of your state that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one soul, striving for the faith of the gospel. <laughs>